on PowerSoft System, you can uh, easily find us on uh, powersoftsystem.com and we are at Airport Residential Area at Accra. Uh, we are into um, ERP solutions as well as uh, financial accounting, HR, etc. over here. In this video, I'm going to show you um, our integration aspect of Easy Frontex and Easy Back Hotel Management Software and how it integrates seamlessly with QuickBooks in terms of uh, syncing, uh, revenue, taxes, uh, payment, uh, inventory, all these sort of things. But it is a demo, so I will not go into details just to showcase you the functionality of the application. So over here, let me just log in. So over here, there is a demo database for QuickBooks that I have opened with uh, some demo uh, kind of account. So I will just easily open uh, maybe one of the financial report like profit and loss, and you can see over here, there are no transactions over here. So everything is blank. Now, this is the Easy Frontex Hotel software with some bit of data over here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to do, let's say, um, what is this financial date? Just the moment. Okay. Um, night audit have not been completed in this system. So all the transactions here, I think, uh, as I said, it's a demo database. So I'm just going to do like, um, just uh, a check-in um, for one guest, for example, I will just open a room. And uh, so the working date of this software is 30th December. It doesn't matter. The logic is what is important. So allow me to open a room and just check in and I guess. So let's assume this guest is called uh, maybe Fred Asante. Okay. Like this. Let's say we are good rate is 1,700. He can check in, you know, without payment. I'll just do a payment of about 1,000 cities. It should be okay. Uh, so I will just apply a payment of about 1,000 cities. Um, just a moment. Yeah, so um, let's say he checks in and he, however that he has paid. Um, let's say we have a payment of 1,000. So let's say uh, he paid a uh, thousand cities. So I'm good. So over here, we just proceed with the check-in. Remember, what is the date of the check-in? 30th to 31st, 2023. Uh, that is what I have used. So unfortunately, in this database, there's a lot of requirement like there's a need for email. Uh, I'll just put in it in there and then, uh, um, I'll just put some number. I think it's, uh, we have made this uh, fields mandatory, but I'm just trying to show you at the end of the day how uh, Sims business also so is mandatory in the system. A lot of Sims, a lot of requirements are here. I'll just uh, put uh, maybe probably this, and I'll just do uh, it. Uh, I've just generated a folio now, right? We can forget about all these uh, pop-ups. Now we are good. The guests have checked in. Uh, we will go over here. So before I would do the synchronization, I would like to explain basically how this solution is working. Uh, this is the integration application. It's an integration between, um, uh, it's a QuickBooks third-party application, right? So um, um, just a moment. Um, just want to just show that you can see over here this application called Easy QuickBooks. Okay, so that is it. Once it is launched, it is connecting QuickBooks and uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the Easy Front Desk system as well. So let me open it here. So I just wanted to show that this is the there is a one time basic configuration whereby we normally the, the logic is that we are mapping, like for example all the ledgers in the system. So you can see where we have it in board. We can map the receivable in, let's say, easy to the ledger we want. So basically all your QuickBooks ledgers will be here. You just need to type the right one you want to map to. So if it is a guest ledger, you map. Uh, the room revenue will also be mapped. All the taxes you can see is mapped over here. Now, the same applies to POS also where we can specify various outlet, like for example, uh, if it is called this, we basically can do a mapping rule. Like for example, here we want to map the sales to whatever sales account 
you want. So if we want to say you should go to food revenue, we'll do the mapping and update. Uh, not only that, so this is a huge application actually, um, where we can do a mapping for various purchases account. Um, even when it comes to the company account, like uh, all the debtors account, we can map like uh, uh, maybe you are dealing with Jumia Petroleum of this or this. We map it all to the necessary account that you want. The same also happens when it comes to um, like your assets, like when you purchase, what stock account should it go? So we can specify maybe, for example, central store, if you purchase, it should go here like that. The same with all the payment. Eh? So front desk, if they receive cash, et cetera, we can map it. So we can basically say the cash, the payment mode cash should go to what account? Then we select the account you have in QuickBooks. So basically, this is the whole logic for banquet inventory consumption. Uh, you can see when it comes to inventory consumption, also we can do. And then now everything about purchases also, it will be there. Like you can see, this is your purchase account, right? And then um, even if it comes to transfers, etc., all of these things are handled. So now that you have an idea about this, I'll open one transaction that we have done as a 30th. So you can see this is the one I just did. So you can you see? It was 1,700. So based on the, so I will just only export this. Let's say you don't need to export one by one. You can just click export to QuickBooks and all transactions will go. So in this demo, I'm just using the proof of concept to show you 8526. So now only this transaction, if I say export to QuickBooks, remember earlier I have showed a case whereby uh, we, we, there was no data. So this is trying to post this data. It is done. So if we should come to QuickBooks, QuickBooks should have data C. Very quick, we have 1,383.14. The room actually in, in easy, uh, if I should open this room again, you will find a room revenue without taxes, right? You can see 1,383.64 or so. Um, um, I mean to say 1,300.65, that's some round of is there. Uh, 1383.14. I think there is a, uh, there is a small round off, but yeah, this round off, I have taken this round off of the revenue because this is not a big deal. That can be handled in a proper mapping rule because I think in the configuration, there there is a round of 0 0.50. Yeah, this one uh, is getting credited on the revenue, but it it should be probably going to a proper account. As I said, it's a demo database, but you can see um, uh, data push already. Now, you that's your profit and loss. If you come to your balance sheet, you will find data quickly that, uh, for example, in this balance sheet, what is the guest ledger is 1007, and you can see your NHR, you get fund, etc. So based on your chart of account arrangement, I mean to say, everything is here. Now, uh, suppose, so this guest, remember, paid some uh, some amount, right? So um, uh, the amount he paid, there will be a transaction also for it under receipt and payment. So basically, the accountant basically needs to export a transaction. So this is what that guy have paid uh, for folio number 8526. So you don't need to basically export all of this. I'm just showing a proof of concept, okay, like this. So what is happening? It is just debiting the cash account. So look at it over here. If I should open my balance sheet quickly, you should find this. Initially, there was no cash, but you should find the cash getting debited. So even if you draw down in QuickBooks, it is coming as, um, you know, like, uh, how do you call it? Uh, it will come as a JV, you know. See, you will find this is getting posted as a general ledger entry. So that is, that's how this uh, solution works, okay? So you can find, this is the entry with all the necessary remarks that are coming, okay? Which will save accountant or finance department time of posting everything. So that is it, this data is exported, okay? So the same logic applies to POS, uh, all the POS sales, for example, I will just do a quick one. For example, if I take 2020 to date, for example, I can just easily click on this search and assume there are two records here, for example, this and this, and you can see the food revenue, food revenue. We can just easily click on um, a spot like this. Okay.
and then um, based on the mapping rules, data will get exported. So even you will find uh, here, uh, usually what happens is um, what happens is that once you're exporting, the value should be changing. Usually, it, it, so basically, these are ledgers that comes in the system, and then that is it. All the posting, and you can also do what we call classroom mapping in the inter interface. So you can see our food revenue, our uh, room revenue accordingly. Okay. Uh, so these figures, don't mind these figures. Just look at the logic because um, uh, once you map properly, like for example, here is more of a debit amount instead of a credit. So it's just a mapping rule, and that is it for 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 that. Um, so that should be it. Um, uh, usually, if there are any um, example cost of goods sold enabled uh, accordingly, they should also automatically um, come also um, for, 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 for any related uh, transactions. I'm not sure. I don't have any uh, pitches done here yet. There isn't, but once you have done that in EasyBeb, uh, you know, I mean to say, from the EasyBeb back office, you have the data here. So we can, through this, we can export uh, all the things from sales and all the income, also all the income streams will be there. So for example, if I want to just click at a go and export all this revenue, I will show you at a go. See, you should find this data changing. You will see, can you see it's just increasing just like that. It's just increasing because I have commanded an export. So all the general entries accountant is supposed to post one by one is coming automatically. So it's not only the revenue. If you have defined your setup properly, we can export uh, your POS sales along with the cost of sales automatically. Um, and then also um, the things about your inventory purchases will also come automatically. And then also the things about your car or your cash payment will also come. Not only that, if you have some uh um city leisure payment like some uh how will i call it uh some companies or debtors who owe you they will come automatically so i believe you are um this is informative and also this is a good solution that is there for all properties and hotels to automate the process of syncing their cost of goods sold, their asset like all the payment, checks, credit, etc., into their respective account that they need, as well as uh, their revenues and all miscellaneous sales like laundry sales, uh, every type of sales, swimming pool, etc., all of them uh, will come along with the inventory as well as the um, uh, like uh, the movement of the inventories as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to visit powersofsystem.com and also navigate about our solutions. You can reach us at our contact details on our site and drop us an email to sales at powersofsystem.com.